Good save by the bell there. He got lucky. No, he's going to call a knockdown. Caraballo, but then he gets caught in the body by Tony Sultan. And now, down goes Caraballo. There was a punch. Yo, magandang araw mga idol. Buwan ng Oktobre, taong 2021, isang taon ng makalipas. Matapos ang dalawang sunod na panalo sa bansang Amerika ng tubong tampilasan sa Buanga del Norte na si Jonas Sultan. Sa wakas ay nabigyan ng pagkakataon na mapalaban sa isang pandaigdigang kampinato ang tinaguriang One Punch Soro ng Philippine Boxing kontra sa knockout artist at ipinagmamalaki at inaasahang susunod na future boxing superstar ng bansang Puerto Rico na si Carlos alias Purin Caraballo at bagamat nabigyan ng pagkakataon na mabigyan ng malaking laban ang ating kababayan eh hindi naman basta-basta ang sasagupain ni Jonas Sultan dahil mula na pasukin nitong si Carlos Caraballo ang professional boxing noong 2016 eh hindi pa ito natatalo at ang matindi pa dito mga idol sa labing apat na sunod na panalo nitong si Caraballo eh lahat ito ay tinapos niya sa pamamagitan ng knockout at wala ni isa ang umabot sa desisyon. Kaya naman isang malaking hamon talaga ito para sa ating kababayan. At kung usapan naman sa mga susunod na magiging world champion, ay isa na yata itong si Garabalio sa may mataasang tsansa na maging world champion sa hinaharap. Dahil nga yan sa pambihirang undefeated record nito at ang matinding 100% knockout ratio. Kung saan lahat ng banata nito ay talaga naman tumitiklop ang mga kalaban. Dahil dyan ay malaki talaga ang expectation ng mga taga Puerto Rico sa kanilang kababayan lalo na ang kanyang promoter na former welterweight champion na si Miguel Cotto. Kaya naman hindi pa natatapos ang laban nitong si Garabalio dito kay John Sultan. E pinaghahandaan na kagad ng kampo ni Garabalio ang paglaban nito sa dating WBO World Bantamid Champion at angas ng Pinas na si John Rel Cuadro Alas Casimero at Unified World Bantamid Champion at monster ng Japan na si Neoya Inoue kung baga sa Madrid sabi mga idol ay easy fight lamang itong ating kababayan para kay Caraballo at gagamit lamang pataba sa undefeated itong kartada ayon pa nga sa Puerto Rican prospect ay handa na siyang lumaban sa mga pinakamalalakas na world champion sa bantamweight division sapat na raw ang kanyang karanasan sa mga laban sa amateur para pataubin ang mga halimaw sa kanyang division medyo may kayabangan din itong si Caraballo mga idol no dahil hindi pa nga natatapos ang laban nito kay Sultan ay pinaghahanda na kagad ang world champion sa bantamweight tara mga idol at muli nating balikan ang maksyon na laban na ito at kung paano tiniruan ng leksyon ng ating kababayan ang mayabang na Puerto Rican future prospect who has been down against Pedro Rodriguez once before in his professional career in April of 2018 but not since until tonight That's what this fight was all about. Training Best leather. He's ever fought. Yeah, he's got. He, he's facing some adversity. Let's see his response. A nice left there by Carl Bosch. Carl Bosch reacting like a true fighter. He's fighting back, which is the nickname that Carl Bosch's mother and grandmother gave him back in Puerto Rico. He lifts his head up ever so slightly. He has to be careful, especially when he's. shooting combinations in front against Sultan who has a big right hand and it's the patience it's the patience Ooh. that's another knockdown for Jonas so being dropped for the second time in this fight by Jonas Sultan who's coming in for the finish with a vicious uppercut and he gets wet check that's what it's all about let's slip no knockdown no knockdown can it be and it can it be strong enough to get him back into this fight Nice left hook at Caraballo. Wanting to excise attacks by Sultan. That's what's giving him problems. He explodes at the right time. It's patient. It's not reckless aggression. Unanimous decision over John Real Casimero. As tough a guy as you will see in boxing. So he's obviously he's pressing forward, inching closer and closer, and then he explodes with his offense. This training with Joven Jimenez. Definitely see improvement. Absolutely. 
And that's got to be cool that you can do it. You're going to be thinking about it. And Sultan is still coming forward. You can tell he's thinking. It's the skills, but Sultan's got power. Mm. One, two. He's going to win this fight. Is now both fighters exchange right in the center of the ring. Is that stick from Caraballo? Car Digging deep is Caraballo here in round four. He made the adjustment. Yes, he back Sultan up. Oh, nice Sultan. left hook. Yeah. Caraballo finding a home for that left hand. And Mini. Caraballo warm for a low blow. And he goes to the head as Sultan lands a nice right. And here comes the off from the Puerto Rican who gets the crowd hyped up here at the Hulu Theater. Backing them up, Bernardo. Set up your offense. You got to regroup. But here we go. The crowd is on their feet because Sultan. But see, anytime Caraballo gets off first, Sultan don't know what to do. He has to get off first. Ten and Caraballo came to fight. This is a throwdown. It's a skillful throwdown. Yeah. It's not helping him right now, Bernardo. Yeah. He's breathing pretty hard, too. Ooh, nice left from Carl. So a lot of these punches by Carl Barrio are catching some glove as well. Mm. Beautiful footwork right there from Carl Barrio. And that combination was set up by that footwork. Looks like give him some... And maybe that's exactly what Jonas Sultan needed. And he's hurt. Third knockdown of this fight. And Jonas Sultan is ready to make it four. Caraballo has never been past round six. This fight is far from being over. You see a little momentum shift and then boom. All it takes is one punch. That's the beauty about Bob. Got to give Caraballo a lot of credit in terms of his recovery powers because he's been down territory after this round for Caraballo. Carlos, keep your hands out the back of his head. The Sultan has been 12 four times. He's been 10 rounds three times, so this is familiar. Three times and only been once, down once before in his career. And he's in against a hard puncher, Jonas Sultan, who's a stalker, who's on him right now, trying to finish the... Keep boxing, use your jab, and stay out of the damn corners. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Because here comes Jonas Sultan pushing Carl to the left of Sultan. He has a habit of moving to his left constantly. Right in the line of fire, the right hand of Sultan. Caraballo back. One of the biggest flaws. See, that's the angle, and that's the place that Caraballo needs to move. He needs to move to his right, moving that way left. There he is again. Sultan's just looking to set up that right hand. If he does there with a nice... Oh, then he'll shoot a hook over the top and catch Caraballo. Fox, he checked that. Now he's got to prove that he's got legitimate power, elite power at this step up in competition, Dre. There it is. Nice See right. the hook? Caraballo landed a nice right hook. And he just landed yeah, a nice I mean, left. Yeah, if you don't know if the 14 or 14 knockouts is real, I mean, you don't know what kind of power you have until you start knocking out elite guys. But he's heavy-handed. Yeah. And if Caraballo, if he continues to move that way and keep his hands. So the ledge repeatedly on the eye, on the ear of Jonas Sultan, who somehow is still standing. Mm. Nice left once again from Caraballo. Just when you think he's out of it, here he comes with his money shot. That left. There's that left hook. And now right hand and down he goes. Ooh, Sultan was down from a two punch combination. And Johnny Collins says it. Low blow there from Caraballo. And that's a good shot from Caraballo with the left. Kind of jack. You know, we always talk about fighters reverting to who they are. Sultan is looping his shots. He's not underneath his feet right now. This is a great spot for Caraballo to take. One, two from Caraballo. He's found a second win, and he's making yeah, Sultan oh pay goodness. for the three visits. Hey. Take advantage of that like he does there with the left hook. Caraballo 
has now made Sultan bleed from the right cheekbone, and now it's Carabao to the canvas. He's going for it. He's going for it, Bernardo. Nice body shot there from Caraballo. What an eighth-round comeback from Caraballo here against Jonas Sultan. There's Sultan's right hand doesn't have that same crisp power behind it, but Caraballo's left does. Having an answer to that left hand in the last three rounds. There it is once again, and Sultan reeling backwards from a left hook. From so much so where he doesn't feel comfortable coming forward. Oh, like but down goes Caraballo once again oh when he was having his best moment. <laughs> to knock out a win. Now, it's even more evident that that's the only way he comes away with the win at Madison. When Caraballo lands on straight lefts, Caraballo has to open up and go for broke. He's got to go for broke because Sultan's just dropped him too many. He's not putting any, he's not invested in the body of Sultan. You got a big, strong guy like Sultan. If you go down to the body, you're going to weaken him. You're going to take that. And take a shot, too. Yeah. He can rip that. Referee. Ganda ng laban. Talagang bakbakan. Pero sa huli, kailangan may manalo sa laban. At dito, mas tanaig ang ating pambato na si Jonas Sultan. At ang inaasahang easy fight ni Caraballo, tila ba sa panaginit na lang mangyayari. Masyado kasing minaliit ang Pinoy, kaya ayan ang inabot. Buong round ay dinumina ng ating kababayan. Ang laban, kaya naman nakuha ni Sultan ang boto ng tatlong horado. Bayo inanimous decision at dapat sa kamay pa ang bakanting WBO Intercontinental Bantam May Title at ang matindi pa dyan ay sinira ng ating kababayan ang malinis na kartada nitong si Caraballo at nakatingin pa ng apat na sunod na knockdown.